Hello and welcome to another Night Shift. My name is Yazil and today we want to work on the uh, player controller, especially um, on the turning and stuff like that. For example, that's a fireball animation and that's a backflip. As you can see, if I hit the back backflip, key oh. uh, it also goes over the network and if I go here and put it here it's also there and at the same time we want to um, make sure that the network is uh, not too overloaded with stuff like the turning and uh, the uh, contournion of the player so in Meteor's Race, let's start. So to have the player animated, we need some animations, of course. And uh, for this, we need the animations of the um, turning or the uh, uh, turning right, especially here. And uh, also in, um, no, it's not, this, it's not jogging, it's uh, running. Uh, this one uh, running turn right and uh, we need to have the walking turn right uh, you know already all how that works uh, I just open it up so you see my numbers so it's the same way than before just uh, get uh, stuff between here uh, lock the position, see that uh, the working and the, the animation is smooth. Um, this loop match, if I go one down like this, uh, then it will be green, but uh, if you see here, it's a... No, uh, it works. Well, let's see. leave it that, that way. And um, here again, the numbers are 88 and 106 also going for uh, import messages and going for fix that and also on um, the walking uh, I used backwards um, um, but you can go and uh, use whatever you want um, in the backwards uh, is also the forward animation and you need that also. So the numbers here is just 0 to 33. And you'd leave that as it is and just uh, going for the Y position uh, to stay uh, at, uh, baked into the animation. So then you wonder how I got the back backflip and the um, the uh, uh, fireball animation well that's easy we can go to a website it's called Maximo on the Maximo page you find tons of animations I did in tricks tips and tools a video how to export them and import them into unity it's quite easy so go into the TDT video and look for that if you don't know how to export these animations uh, and import them into Unity. Uh, that's for the animations. And then we go into our animation controller, which is down here, animation, and revert. I did that already. Go in for the animation. Let's make that bigger so we can see that. So in our animation, we want to have um, this uh, motion. It's in just in, so, so you go here for click integer and name it, and that's it. After that, you drag in your fireball and your backflip or whatever animation you got there. Just remember, it's just get these and let's drop that and then you got that 
we only want to have these animations if we are in idle state and in idle state I click on that um, direct when we hit and the motion is equal to one we want to go for a fireball and here if we want to or if the motion is equals to two we want to go into the backflip um, from neutral to the backflip or the uh, animation generally you don't want to have an exit time uh, but for the way back you want to have uh, the exit time so the animation is played fully uh, also you want to have to make sure that you have foot IK um, set it. so that's it for these and now we're going to for our oops. No, it's not working. Ah, there it is. We want to work on our locomotion, and in our locomotion, um, we still have the speed is greater, which we had before, but we want to make create a um, substate machine. No, indeed. We want to have and um, create new blend tree, and in the new blend tree, we added uh, the new stuff in. Let's go back there and go for our locomotion and click on that. You see, I just went here and did it a couple times and uh, add the motion field and we added the uh, walking right in there. Um, now the, the trick is we had just or have just only one of these animations if you remember that we just did the one here you click here on mirror and uh, the animation will be mirrored automatically and you don't have any problem with that um, here you have to define the direction key so you go on parameters and go for direction since the speed is uh, already handled you have to make sure that you have this on um, oh that's a hard tough word for German uh, homogeneous homogeneous speed whatever it is uh, it's equals to speed so it uh, the uh, animations will be on the same speed level so um, it makes the, everything smooth out a little bit um, yeah well um, minus is always left uh, and uh, the normal value is always right and uh, so we have the animation here it's not totally clean but you can experiment with the values and uh, maybe different animations so it will be a little bit better over the time if you get a feeling for that and i added a second one that's the uh, jog so if the speed is greater than 1.2 uh, 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 we when go into the run animation which is the same than before and you're just uh, going for another <clears throat> and you go while well, you're doing the same with uh, the plus here add some motions drag in your motions we had here like the run and the turn and going for the mirror on the left side put in your values here and also going for the speed and you're set so we went for our project uh, c sharp scripts and today we work on the y const the player the player controller the other anim animation controller the other anim controller and the player others so first of all we have to go into our y const and if you remember right we have under our class move as uh, the position rotation and the speed and now of course we need the direction and the motions so I got the four and five for the directions and motions 
just another rule, U short and stuff you already know. In the, the player, we need a couple new variables. It's uh, a public float direction and a public float old direction and a public int motion and a public int old motion. Um, you can do that in getters and setters. Um, I just did it here this way. Um, maybe I will change that later on. Uh, so we have a secure method uh, to do that over getters and setters. Of course, you are free to do that uh, uh, direct now. And in our update function, we know this part already from here to here, these part. Um, what I did is um, I just uh, added here uh, to be sure that uh, the motion is zero. So we went for uh, the speed is not equal to old speed and the motion is equal to zero. So we don't have these motions when we are walking or stuff like that. And um, also, I uh, spoke the last time about the Z value and I added that also and went for delta position Z uh, is equal to, uh, to transform dot position Z minus uh, my position dot Z. Um, you can do that with some uh, mass F apps um, to make it clear. I did it uh, this uh, way and uh, just checked if the value is between these values, as you know, and I added the Z position also there. So if we make sure that it also works, if the, um, the X position is just straight and the Z is not changing at all uh, and the other way around. So uh, if we go on, to a, on a direct Z line, uh, the uh, X position will always be zero. And so uh, then the function will also work. And um, the rest is uh, the same. We just uh, going to write that down into our message to others uh, using a dark roof writer then and uh, send uh, uh, the position to our uh, server plugin, which saved that into our database. We know that it's just the same and it works. So uh, this is the new part. We're going to check if the direction is uh, not equal to old direction and the motion is uh, equal to zero. So if we are doing something um, with the motion, this will not uh, um, or this code will not be executed. We're going for the Docker send message to others and going to send our direction. And then we set the old direction equals to direction. And the next is we check our transform. Is the transform dot rotation uh, not equal to rotation and the direction is equals to zero. Then we go and uh, uh, set the uh, rotation direct. So um, if we're missing something or we got, got packets lost or whatever it is, um, it's basically the same then uh, on top here. We make sure that uh, at least once the rotation is corrected over the network. Then we set my rotation is equal to transform dot rotation. So on the next round, uh, uh, everything is uh, um, set for the next checking here. Uh, that's simply easy. We may have to um, add a couple uh, um, time-based uh, write to others so we got more often to verify if the possession we have on the client, uh, on the uh, player others uh, in the uh, other clients. Uh, is correct and so we got to check that if we have some traffic on the server uh, uh, next month so next month uh, we or I open up uh, the uh, pre-alpha for the patrons uh, and we got to check that there if some of the patrons are going to log in and uh, 
we're going to experiment there. And <clears throat> also, uh, we want to uh, send the uh, motion. So this will be not executed if the motion is uh, of a different value. And so we're going to check if the motion is not equal to zero or the motion is not equal to old motion. Um, that we have to do because uh, um, if we only go for not zero, um, the other client will not be informed if uh, the stuff is going out. So it, if we, for example, do in the backflip uh, motion, it will be uh, the backflip uh, motion on the other client uh, over the network all the time because we don't get an update. So uh, then we send it to uh, message to others and then we set the old motion is equal to motion. So if we have a change, then this will be true and uh, we uh, update that on the other client. So that's really easy for the uh, for the player. And next is we go into the player controller. And in the player controller, we going to um, just that we already have. Uh, we're just going for input get key down and we check for the DAW key we have uh, or we want to uh, execute some of the stuff. For example, the G key is for the motion one and the H key is for the motion two. After that, we set the uh, my player dot motion is equal to one or to two. You remember we got that on top here. My motion, we set that there. And um, for the next round um, or before the next round, you have to set the uh, player motion to uh, zero. And of course, you have to go for the my anim. Uh, so in the animation, um, there the integer is also uh, reset to zero. Um, some time the next we're going to set that as uh, hash key, so that will be a little bit faster. But in the moment, it's just enough. And the next is the. Uh, so my player dot uh, speed uh, is run speed. We already have that, but we also want to have the direction uh, set into the my player. Um, I also added. Uh, well, I don't know if I have that before, but uh, we just have the variables uh, vertical and horizontal, and put that in here. So we only have to, uh, that one time per update, and not, uh, and not uh, more than one. For that, you have to, of course, have a variable here. Uh, it's float uh, underscore vertical and underscore horizontal. And um, after that, we set the animation to the speed. We have that. And uh, the new part is we set the float uh, direction uh, variable uh, to the horizontal. And um, this all the line where we direct set the rotation, uh, we just uh, comment that out or delete that. So after we implement that, if you start the game, your player should be uh, going for the speed and direction. And also if he is standing still, uh, you can uh, play the uh, motions uh, which you defined on your keys. And after that, you have the player others. And in the player others, you define uh, two new variables. It's the player flow direction and the motion, of course. We need both of them. And you're going to um, get them here in your receiver. Uh, and you use the speed set to float data and direction to float data and motion to int data. And um, the rest is always the same. Um, that's the position and rotation we let that in there because uh, the our, our verify the position and verify the rotation functions we had in the player function. And um, after that, we 
only need to go to uh, the other animation controller and in our update fun function we just go and set the um, float value for direction to my player direction and set the integer motion to my player motion that's it easy and um, you're just ready to do that over the network uh, and uh, well I would say um, have fun with it if you like it push the like button if you like, like it even more uh, push the subscribe button and uh, well nothing else to say than happy night shift Thank you.